Some people think that the hit National Geographic show, Life Below Zero, is running out of viewers and ratings. They are obviously unaware that on top of the main show recently completing its 16th season, the franchise has also released two spin-off series. The first one was Life Below Zero, The Next Jid, and saw a good feedback, which is why it is currently already airing its second season, with a promising possibility of a third one. The second one was Life Below Zero, Northern Territories, which already aired its season one containing eight episodes in early 2020. We have yet to receive any feedback, as per the ratings of the spin-off show, which leaves us in a dilemma to predict and research for its future. Will it be renewed for a second season like Next Gen? Is a question in everybody's mind, but it is unfortunately the one we do not have an answer to yet. We certainly found it entertaining, but forget about the updates on Season 2. There is limited information on the internet even about Season 1 and the cast members. While from a viewer's point of view, we can certainly see it being renewed for a few more seasons, the critical thinker in us doubts that the production team may already have their hands full with the main show in the original spin-off series. That being said, we will not be surprised as Northern Territories declares the dates for Season 2 in a few months. For those who have yet to watch the show, or simply forgot, or were not aware of the show to begin with, we will introduce you to the cast members to make you instantly more curious and interested. Becky Broderick While the show has not introduced anyone specifically as a main star, Becky Broderick and her story is favored by most fans to become the Sue Aikens of the spinoff. Becky is young and still learning the harsh like in Yukon, but she has her dependable knowledgeable husband, Dennis, with her, who has already taught her so much and continues to guide her to be completely self-reliant. Although from what we've seen, Becky can already handle herself pretty well. We did not call her the Sue Aikens of the spin-off series for nothing. You will see her cut firewood like a lumberjack and learn to shoot power moose hunting sniper rifles within a few minutes, proving herself as a natural. The most interesting thing about her, however, is that Becky is a mother to a 10-month-old daughter. She is 30 years old and left her suburban life in Sudbury, Ontario, to be with her husband, an Indian native of Yukon. She wants to raise her daughter in this lifestyle as well and make her a self-sufficient badass in her wards. She and her husband are dog mushers and own 11 dogs that help them to hunt and travel. In the winter, they will move to the husband's hometown of Lutzel Ke. However, before winter, they will have to successfully hunt for moose by the Teslin River, which will be food for them as well as their dogs. Pike Mike Harrison? If Becky gives us Sue Aikens vibes, then Mike Harrison is the one who resembles an older and wiser Glenn Villanueva. He doesn't have very adventurous spirit like the former Life Below Zero star, but at his older age, it is understandable. What he does share with Glenn is the lone wolf choice of lifestyle. Lindbergh Landing has been living in the Lindbergh Landing Northwestern Territories for over 20 years, even accounting for the 7 to 8 months long winters that sometimes hits temperatures of below 50 degrees Celsius. He is a handyman, which explains how he constantly is able to upgrade his camping site with anything he can get his hands on. In Season 1, you will see him start off with a simple old tent, which by the end of the season has different additions made to make it better. His bio claims that while years of experience has extremely industrious, but also loopy, that explains why he chooses to camp at a place called Wildberry Island, named aptly for the abundance of berries there, but you know who else likes wild berries? Bears. Mike seems to know what he is doing though, as he never leaves his campsite without his gun. Just because Aiken survived a bear attack does not mean everyone can. Kim Pashi and Pierre Eves Du, Life Below Zero, Northern Territories, has some bromance in the form of Kim and Pierre, who are Switzerland natives. They met 15 years back and became best friends. It is unknown whether the two became best friends over their shared love for the spirit of the Yukon, as they say, or is it materialized in both of them together? They are hunters, trappers, and bushmen by profession, who have lived in the Yukon for 10 years, 
working one of the remote trap lines in the Yukon territories for the last six of those ten years. Now, in season one of the series, their unyielding love for Yukon is driving them to build their own cabin. However, just two men building a cabin before winter is an extreme deadline with a hundred things that can go wrong. If they don't succeed, they will certainly die without a home. Bentley Kakayev, another Native American to join the main cast, is Bentley, a 25-year-old native born and bred in Wagamal Lake, an Indian reserve territory of Oregon. Oregon is famous for being diverse, an environment contained with everything from dense forests to cold, wet swamps to rocky mountains. Bentley from birth has grown up around these parts, making him an excellent hunter and trapper in the parts. He too has a family to support, including his mother, wife, and four-year-old daughter. His daughter is a firecracker, according to Bentley, and has an inquisitive nature. Thus, he plans to already teach his daughter the basics, like fishing, like he had learnt from a young age. This cast member will certainly bring a lot of indigenous techniques to the table, entertaining us by showing off his ancestral ways of living. Doesn't every cast member sound so diverse, unique, and interesting in their own way? With a cast like that, there is no way that the spin-off series won't be entertaining. As of, will it be a hit? It all depends on you guys and your support, which will also determine the future of the series. So do not wait anymore and go see the new series.